Okay, now coming into the warmer season after hibernating from the sun over winter, our skin be, can be quite pale and we want to protect it. You don't want to go and do a whole lot of sunbathing. Trudy Brewer, editor of Beauty EQ, is here with the secrets to the perfect faux glow. Good morning, Trudy. Hi, Mel. So Thanks what are having me? Thank you for being here and bringing some products for us to have a look Cute at. Products to share later. So what are the options that we have when it comes to self tanning? Look, they're many and varied, and obviously you can have a professional spray tan, which is great because you can just go and get a, an expert to do it. But so not, that's you in there with your paper undies yep, on. Yep, that's your paper G, backwards and forwards, which You've is brilliant. That. But the thing is that everybody wants to just, you know, have access to products now that they can just pop on at home. Yeah. So they're many and varied, as I said. Um, they probably start with a gradual tanner, which has the least amount of DHA, um, dihot uh, dihoxy um, acetone in them. And then they go through to a tinted option, which is brilliant. Um, and then through to a spray. is probably the three main categories that most people would know about. The dihoxy, whatchamacallit that you just mentioned, is that the one? Dihydroxyacetone. That's the one that gives you the colour. That is what colour your skin. Now a lot of people wonder whether that's toxic and it's not. It's non-toxic and it's an extract from sugar beets. Oh. So you don't need to panic that you're putting something on your skin that is toxic. Um, the other thing to note with that is that it really only works on the dry dead skin on the top of the skin surface so it isn't going to be absorbed through okay. to the living skin on, on deeper layers of your skin. Um, so that is something to really note. It, you need to exfoliate first to get that get that top layer in good shape. Right, so it's not going to absorb into it. So who should be using which sort of product? I do think you do um, need to take your skin type into consideration. And if you've got very dry skin, you can often find that your skin gets a little bit patchy with self-tan. So dry skin, I would go with a gradual tanner that has the least amount of DHA in it. And it's a moisturiser as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then probably the more oily your skin, I would tend to go towards a spray. What happens if you're oily on your face, dry on your body? Oh, you need two products. Okay, well that makes We'll talk about sense. that soon. It does make perfect sense. So, okay, application, we just touched on it, then when you talk yeah. about exfoliating, what yeah. do you need to do? You do need to exfoliate, and it's probably best to exfoliate the night before. So you've got to plan it. Mm -hmm. Then do a moisturisation, make sure if there's any dry bits are covered with moisturiser, particularly around the bony areas like knees and ankles yes. and knuckles. Wrists. Elbows, wrists, that's right, collarbone is another place. Um, so you've done your exfoliation the night before, you've done your moisturisation, you wake up in the morning and that's when you would self-tan. Okay, that makes sense. You've brought a couple of products in here. I have brought a couple of products in. Um, just an example of a, um, and I have used these, they're not in top shape, but a yeah. gradual tanner. It's more like a moisturiser, as I said, it's got the least amount of DHA in it mm -hmm. and you would just put that you know anywhere really legs you don't need to do a full full tan with that and that builds right. up over two or three days okay what's this one this little one here in the oil thing that about? is a brilliant product central mm -hmm. pate oil it's a facial oil so it's moisturizing as well as giving you a little bit of self tan for your face now okay. a lot of people are scared of that and you know looking at Donald Trump I don't blame them that's how I want to he has this conversation worst with you the tan you've ever seen yeah. <laughs> two words for you Donald Trump Donald what do Trump. you do about him you don't want to look like Donald Trump no um, I, and you don't have to, that's the thing. Um, the idea really is to tan your body and tan your face because there's nothing worse than being tanned on the body yep. and then you've got a white face and a white neck. So there's two options. Something like this is great, you would just right. use it every few days. Okay. It's an oil um, or you could just use a matte bronzer. Also a very good idea. So mix yeah. and match and go gradual would be the best advice. Trudy, thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure. I might even experiment with a bit of it myself because I haven't had the best results in the past. Oh. A bit patchy, didn't make the best effort. Oh. I need to do a little bit more about that. Thank you. Fantastic yeah, you're advice. Welcome. Thank you. Now for more of Trudy's tips, head along to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.